Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll take a look at the new armor synthesis feature coming this episode 6. Currently, we can find the Magic Furnace or Enchant Fusion NPC in Aldebaran and we can only synthesize weapons. However, with this coming episode 6, we'll now be able to synthesize new armors as well that will give us enhanced attributes. Same as with the weapons, you will be able to retain any enchantment, refinement, and slotting in your main equipment. I'll be featuring all the 22 new armors that we can synthesize. I'll leave timestamps down below for the armor of your specific job class. Note that the exact names may be translated differently once the patch is released in the C and Global servers, but the stats and materials needed will most likely be the same. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Let's first start with the general armors for all job classes. First up, we have the Comet Armor. This is for all jobs and improves survivability against stun, freeze, petrify, and fear effects. This will be useful for PvP and GVG events. In this table, we are showing attributes of the main armor in the first column, the attributes of the synthesized armor in the second column, and the comparative advantages of the synthesized armor in the third column. We'll focus on the differences and we'll be following this format for all the next armors. With this, we can see that in comparison to a tier 6 meteorite armor, the Comet armor will have additional plus 7 to 1 points on def, plus 5% def, plus 1% mdef for every refine plus 1, and plus 2000 max HP. In addition, every refine will give more percent HP. Furthermore, from refine plus 8 will have less 1% neutral, wind, earth, fire, and water damage taken for every refine plus 1. Here are the materials needed for synthesizing the Comet armor. Up next, we have the God's Blessing. This is again general for all jobs. This improves survivability as it boosts max HP and SP and decreases poison, holy, dark, and ghost damage taken. In comparison to a tier 10 Goibni's armor, the God's Blessing will have additional plus 80 points of death, plus 5% death, plus 1% M death for every refine plus 1, plus 2000 max HP, plus 5% max SP, plus 5 vit, and plus 5% max HP. In addition, we'll also have less 10% poison, holy, dark, and ghost damage taken. Furthermore, from refine plus 8, we'll have less 1% poison, holy, dark, and ghost damage taken for every refine plus 1. Here are the materials needed for synthesizing the God's Blessing. Up next, we have the Armor of Perseverance. This is a general armor which would be good for melee job classes. This gives both defense and attack which may be good for Bash-type Rune Knights, Pierce-type Rune Knights, and Shield Charge Royal Guards. Classes such as Guillotine Cross, Shadow Chasers, Mechanics, Genetics, and Supernovas may also find this useful. In comparison to a Tier 8 Iron Armor, the Armor of Perseverance will have plus 61 death, plus 10% death, plus 1% M death for every refine plus 1, and plus 2000 max HP. In addition, we'll also have plus 30 melee attack and certain refine levels will give added percent melee attack. Furthermore, from refine plus 8, we'll have plus 1% penetration for every refine plus 1. Here are the materials needed for synthesizing the Armor of Perseverance. Next, let's talk about the armors for the Swordsman class. First up, we have the Celestial Armor. This is for melee job classes that utilize both attack and magic attack, such as Dragon Breath Rune Knights, Royal Guards, and Genetics. Other classes that can equip this armor are the Guillotine Cross, Shadow Chaser, Mechanic, and Supernovus. In comparison to a Tier 10 Staunch Armor, the Celestial Armor will have additional plus 7 to 5 death, plus 10% death, plus 1% M death for every refine plus 1, and plus 2000 max HP. In addition, we'll also have plus 10% overbrand damage, an additional percent attack and magic attack for varying refinement levels. Furthermore, from refine plus 8, we'll have plus 1% attack and magic attack for every refine plus 1. Here are the materials needed for synthesizing the celestial armor. Up next, we have the tyrannical armor. This is a core armor for the Agicrit rune knights but can also be used by any job class. When paired with sword-type weapons, this boosts attack and crit damage rates. In comparison to a Tier 8 Beast Heart, the Tyrannical Armor will have additional plus 100 def, plus 10% def, 
plus 1% MDEF for every refine plus 1, plus 2000 max HP, and plus 3 crit. In addition, we'll also have plus 10% critical damage and bonus attack and crit damage for varying refinement levels. Furthermore, from Refine Plus 8, we'll have plus 1% crit damage for every Refine Plus 1. Here are the materials needed for synthesizing the tyrannical armor. Up next, we have the Armor of the Watchman. This is a core armor for tank build royal guards. This significantly boosts max% percent HP and critical damage reduction. Pairing this with a sacred mission offhand will boost healing. In comparison to a tier 8 legion plate armor, the armor of the watchman will have additional plus 7 to 5 def, plus 5% def, plus 1% m def for every refine plus 1 and plus 2500 max HP. In addition, we'll also have a total of plus 5% max HP and less 5% holy, wind, earth, fire and water damage taken based on the refinement level. Furthermore, from Refine Plus 8, we'll have plus 1% damage and magic damage reduction for every Refine Plus 1. Here are the materials needed for synthesizing the armor of the Watchman. Next, let's talk about the armors for the Merchant class. First up, we have the Greedy Jacket. This is for jobs that equip axe-type weapons such as mechanics. Other classes such as Drew Knights, Royal Guards, Genetics, and Supernovas may also equip this armor. In comparison to a tier 8 glittering jacket, the greedy jacket will have additional plus 101 def, plus 10% def, plus 1% m def for every refine plus 1 and plus 2500 max HP. In addition, we'll also have bonus damage dealt by an axe type weapon with varying refinement levels. Furthermore, from refine plus 8, we'll have plus 2% attack for every refine plus 1 for a maximum of plus 16% attack. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the greedy jacket. Up next, we have the Twilight Armor. This armor is specifically for genetics and increases HP and VIT. It also boosts attack and magic attack with increased refinement levels. In comparison to a Tier 8 Alley Armor, the Twilight Armor will have additional plus 80 def, plus 5% def, plus 1% m def for every refine plus 1, and plus 1500 max HP. In addition, we'll also have bonus attack and magic attack for varying refinement levels. Furthermore, from Refine Plus 8, we'll have plus 2% Ignore Def for every Refine Plus 1 for a maximum of plus 16% Ignore Def at plus 15 Refinement. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the Twilight Armor. Next, let's talk about the armors for the Thief class. First up, we have the Breathless Cloak. This is a core armor for job classes that use dagger-type weapons. This significantly boosts strength, Agi, attack, and ignore death when using daggers. Pairing this with a holy dagger or stalker's knife has damage bonuses against small, medium, and large targets. In comparison to a tier 8 thief clothes, the breathless cloak will have additional plus 100 death, plus 10% death, plus 40 m death, plus 1% m death for every refine plus 1, plus 4000 max HP, and plus 4 strength. In addition, for varying refinement levels, we'll also have bonus attack and ignore defense when using dagger-type weapons. Furthermore, from Refine Plus 8, we'll have plus 1% attack and ignore death for every Refine Plus 1. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the Breathless Cloak. Up next, we have the Ninja Suit Night Song. This is a core armor for crit-type Katara or dagger users. In comparison to a Tier 8 Ninja Suit Moonlight, the Ninja Suit Night Song will have additional plus 7 to 1 def, plus 5% def, plus 1% m def for every refine plus 1, plus 2000 max HP, and plus 8 strength. In addition, we'll also have plus 2% crit damage when luck reaches 100, and another plus 1% when luck reaches 130. At refine plus 10, we'll also have plus 6% melee damage. Furthermore, for refine plus 8, we'll have plus 1% damage for every refine plus 1. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the Ninja Suit Night Song. Up next, we have the Frenzy Coat. This is an exclusive armor for Shadow Chasers. In comparison to a Tier 8 Bohemian Coat, the Frenzy Coat will have additional plus 76 def, plus 5% def, plus 1% f def for every refine plus 1, plus 2000 max HP, and plus 1% attack. In addition, we'll also have plus 2% ignore def at refinement plus 5, and another 5% ignore death at refinement plus 10 when using dagger type weapons. 
Furthermore, from Refine Plus 8 will have plus 1% Ignore Death for every Refine Plus 1. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the Frenzy Coat. Up next, let's talk about the armors for the Archer class. First up, we have the Tears Armor. This armor is catered towards Adil Rangers since it increases Dex, Agi, and Critical Damage. In comparison to a Tier 8 Sniping Suit, the Tears Armor will have additional plus 76 Def, plus 1% M Def for every Refine plus 1, plus 5% Def, plus 2000 Max HP, plus 6 Agi, and plus 6 Dex. In addition, we'll have plus 5% chance to increase attack when landing critical attacks. We'll also have bonus critical damage at varying refinement levels. Furthermore, from Refine Plus 8, we'll have plus 1% pen for every Refine Plus 1. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the Tears Armor. Up next, we have the Dark Star Stealth Suit. This armor is specifically for Falconeer or Warger Rangers. This improves HP, Dex, and Attack. In comparison to a Tier 8 Ranger clothes, the Dark Star Stealth Suit will have additional plus 76 Def, plus 5% Def, plus 1% M Def for every Refine plus 1, plus 2000 Max HP, and plus 5 Dex. In addition, we'll also have bonus attack for varying refinement levels. Furthermore, from Refine plus 8, we'll have plus 1% damage for every Refine plus 1. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the Dark Star Stealth Suit. Up next, we have the Sneaker Cloak. This armor is catered towards Trapper-type Rangers since it increases Dex and Int. In comparison to a Tier 8 Stardust Robe, the Sneaker Cloak will have additional plus 91 Def, plus 10% Def, plus 1% M Def for every Refine plus 1, plus 3500 Max HP, plus 80 Max SP, and plus 2 Dex. In addition, we'll also have plus 10 Ignore Def, plus 5% SP cost for all Hunter Trap skills, and higher Hunter Trap skill damage for every Refine plus 1. Furthermore, we'll have plus 1% M damage for every Refine plus 1. Here are the materials needed for synthesizing the Sneaker Cloak. Up next, we have the Lunar Gown. This is the core armor for SRS-type Minstrel and Wanderers. In comparison to a Tier 4 Elegant Uniform, the Lunar Gown will have additional plus 7 to 1 Def, plus 1% Def for every Refine plus 1, plus 5% M Def, plus 1500 Max HP, plus 100 Max SP, plus 6 Dex, and plus 1% Attack. In addition, when refined to plus 5, we'll have plus 2% attack, and when refined to plus 15, we'll have plus 2 dex and plus 6% attack. Furthermore, from refined plus 8, we'll have plus 1% pen for every refined plus 1. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the lunar gown. Up next, we have the flow cloud clothes. This armor is for full support minstrels and wanderers. In comparison to a tier 4 elaborate costume, the Flow Cloud Clothes will have additional plus 7 to 1 Def, plus 1% Def for every Refine plus 1, plus 5% M Def, plus 2000 Max HP, plus 5% Max HP, plus 2 Int, plus 2 Vit, and plus 8 Dex. In addition, from Refine plus 8 will have plus 1% damage and M damage reduction for every Refine plus 1. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the Flow Cloud Clothes. Next, let's talk about the armors for the Acolyte class. First up, we have the Glorious Praise. This is the core armor for full support Archbishops. This boosts int and lowers the SP cost of Magnificat and other skills. Once refined, it increases survivability. Pairing with the Crush Staff or Staff of Survivability brings health bonuses. In comparison to a Tier 8 Holy Robe, the Glorious Praise will have additional plus 9 to 1 Def, plus 1% Def for every refined plus 1, plus 10% M Def, plus 3000 Max HP, plus 5% Max HP, plus 5 Dex, and plus 5% Healing Increase. In addition, we'll have another plus 5% Healing Increase at Refining plus 5, and plus 5% Max HP at Refining plus 10. Furthermore, from Refining plus 8, we'll have plus 1% Neutral, Wind, Earth, Water, and Fire damage taken for every Refine plus 1. Here are the materials needed for synthesizing the Glorious Praise. Up next, we have the Galaxy Robe. This is the core armor for Bellow-type Archbishops. It possesses strong survivability and boost attack. Pairing this armor with the Slash will boost attack speed and percent attack. Other classes that can equip this are the Shura, Mechanics, and Genetics. 
In comparison to a tier 8 Saint robe, the Galaxy robe will have additional plus 7 to 6 def, plus 1% def for every fine plus 1, plus 5% M def, plus 1100 max HP, plus 5 strength, and plus 5% critical damage. In addition, we'll also have additional 5% crit damage at refinement plus 10, and another 5% at refinement plus 15. Furthermore, from refine plus 8, we'll have plus 2% critical damage for every refine plus 1 for a maximum of 16%. Here are the materials needed for synthesizing the Galaxy Robe. Up next, we have the Clothes of Dawn. This is the core armor for the Adoramus build Archbishop. In comparison to a Tier 4 Robe of Judgment, the Clothes of Dawn will have additional plus 7 to 1 def, plus 1% def for every fine plus 1, plus 5% M def, plus 1500 max HP, plus 5 int, and plus 5% magic attack. Notably, this will also eliminate the blue gem cost of using Adoramus. In addition, we'll also have additional 5% ignore M def at refinement plus 5 and another 5% at refinement plus 10. At plus 15 refinement, we'll have a 150% skill multiplier for Adoramus and plus 10% magic attack. Furthermore, from refinement plus 8, we'll have plus 2% ignore M def for every refinement plus 1 for a maximum of 16%. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the clothes of Dawn. Up next, we have the Celestial Clothes. This armor is good for Shura since it increases the Asura Strike and Hellgate's damage. Once refined, it increases max HP, percent attack, and damage to large-sized monsters. Pairing this with a Staunch Ring boost attack and magic attack. In comparison to a tier 10 Staunch Clothes, the Celestial Clothes will have additional plus 100 def, plus 10% def, plus 1% M def for every fine plus 1, plus 2 dex, plus 2 int, plus 2800 max HP, and plus 150 max SP. In addition, we'll also have plus 20% Hellgate damage multiplier for every refine plus 1. We'll also have additional plus 5% max SP at refinement plus 5, and another 5% at refinement plus 10. Furthermore, from refine plus 8, we'll have plus 2% max SP for every refine plus 1 for a maximum of 16%. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the Celestial Clothes. Lastly, let's talk about the armors for the Mage class. First up, we have the Star Crasher. This is the core armor for Warlock since it increases magic attack. Once refined, it can boost Ignore M Death and further boost magic attack. In comparison to a Tier 8 Robe of Cast, the Star Crasher will have additional plus 104 Death, plus 1% Death for every refine plus 1, plus 10% M Death, plus 1 int, plus 3 dex, and plus 2500 max HP. In addition, when refined to plus 5, we'll have plus 5% wind, earth, water, and fire damage. Furthermore, from refined plus 8, we'll have plus 1% M-Pen for every refined plus 1. Here are the materials needed for synthesizing the Star Crasher. And lastly, we have the Mana Abyss. This is the core armor for sorcerers. In comparison to a tier 4 Surging Magic Robe, the Mana Abyss will have additional plus 76 def, plus 1% def for every refine plus 1, plus 5% M def, plus 4 vit, plus 4 dex, and plus 1500 max HP. In addition, we'll also have plus 3% magic attack at refinement plus 5, plus 5% 5 attack speed at refining plus 10, and plus 5% ignore M def at refining plus 15. Furthermore, from refine plus 8, we'll have plus 2% ignore M def for every refine plus 1 for a maximum of 16%. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the mana abyss. Alright, so far we've gone through all the new Episode 6 Armor Synthesis for all the job classes. We've highlighted the differences and advantages of each new armor, and also touched on the needed materials for the synthesis. I hope this video was helpful in helping you guys decide if you'll be upgrading your armor this coming episode. Make sure to stay tuned for more Episode 6 videos. Alright, that's it for this video guys, don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love you to consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.